Yeah, good morning. They're going to be breaking that down in just about an hour and a half now at 8 a.m. We're going to be hearing from some of those that will be directly involved in this, including from the behavioral health standpoint. Schizophrenia is is not one of the most common diagnoses that, that we see among you know all people with with serious mental illness, certainly not among all people with behavioral health conditions generally um, and among uh, people experiencing homelessness. And that's Dr. Luke Bergman with the county's behavior, the, the county's behavioral health director. So let's break down care court here. This is going to be a new tool throughout the state for local leaders. San Diego going to be one of the first to roll this out. It looks to help those with untreated mental illness and even drug addiction that has led them to homelessness. A family member, a medical professional or a first responder can petition the court that someone they know or someone they encountered is suffering from those untreated um, statuses, those mental illness or drug addiction. That person will then be evaluated by a medical professional. Then the court decides if they should meet a case manager to undergo a care plan. The whole process is voluntary, meaning the person petitioned can decide whether or not they want to participate. We spoke with the county judge Kimberly Legata about that. Also, uh, just in terms of accountability, how that plays a role as well, too. There is the potential for accountability. Obviously, the review hearings every 60 days holds the individual accountable to continue to participate voluntarily in services. Um, the team of support, whether it's lawyer or support person or treatment providers, can continue to encourage and engage um, the participant in the program. And we'll be hearing from those county leaders at 8 a.m., but this will start on Sunday, October 1st. Eric and Netta.